Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to naturalnews.tv. My name is Magnus Mulliner. Again, another wonderful journey. And this invite is to become more conscious and aware to some of the appliance or utensils that you will be using, probably using, in your kitchen. Now again, please do your own homework, your own due diligence to see if you're finding a truth in what I'm sharing with you. I'm going to be talking about two main things. One is called Teflon, which is polytetrachloroethylene. For those, uh, that obviously the trade name is Teflon. And the other one is Microwave. Where shall I start? Teflon. Now Teflon has been around for a number of years and is made by a company called DuPont. And you will find when you do a bit more homework on it that it is very toxic. So toxic in fact that if you have a budgie in a cage near your um, cooker the chances are with a brand new Teflon pan you will kill your bird. Well think about it, for, you know, for probably be hundreds of years we actually used to take canaries and the like down into um, mines. If there's any gas, so once the bird died you know you got out. Well the same thing with the fumes that are given off by a Teflon pan. Or if you've got a brand new Teflon pan what you could do is put a little bit of baking soda in it and water and just boil it and then taste it afterwards and you will not like the taste. You might say I don't like baking soda anyway. But my point is this chemicals from the pan are leached into your foods and worse than that if you actually use metal or some sort of strong utensil that scratches the pan that will then go into your foods. So what's the harm? Well again the research is very interesting. Birth defects, so if you'd like to become pregnant stay away from Teflon. Uh, cancer, so everything ultimately can lead up to cancer but let me just remind you of what happened with one of my clients. I remember this bloke and he had, he used to wake up 14 times in um, an evening and he went to the bathroom but nothing really happened and when it came to it as a labelled ecological lifestyle practitioner I went to his home and I, I looked through the cupboards, you know the trash, I looked through everything too at their bedrooms, you know where they're looking um, where they've got uh, electromagnetic frequencies or electric blankets, plastics, you know all these things that I look at and then if possible, if they, if they want um, some of the information, because the best advice you can take is your own, is I'll just remind them that there are smarter choices to make, just like I'm reminding you now. And sure enough, he cooked with Teflon pans. I kid you not, within 48 hours of removing Teflon pans, he was then able to sleep throughout the night without waking up 14 times. It really is a toxic chemical. And you've got to ask yourself a question. Well, if something is quick and easy, which is one of the main reasons the selling points for buying something like Teflon so you can easily clean your pan, how come it's so quick and easy? I mean, just imagine if your child came home and said, hey, mum and dad, I've got a quick way of getting to school, but you don't need to take me. You'd probably ask a question, wouldn't you? Say, well, how are you going to get to school, son or daughter? Or if they said, hey, mum and dad, I've... I can do my homework quickly, faster than you, I don't need your help. You would ask a question, how or why or what are you doing? So if something's quick and easy like a Teflon pan, do your homework on it and see if what I'm reminding you kind of makes sense. And you might say, well Magnus, what else can I use? Great question. So let me invite you further down the rabbit hole on this journey to have a look at a few other um, pans that you could use. This is Pyrex. Now obviously you wouldn't cook oil in there or do um, any kind of sausages or what have you with oil but we use that for boiling and that is fantastic. Cast iron. Now this hasn't been seasoned yet, I've got a full set of these and what I'll be doing is adding coconut to it and then sticking them in the oven and um, baking it really to, to season the pan. Now if you do have a high iron um, content in the blood then you may want to stay clear of cast iron. It's not right for everybody. And then we have the old stainless steel. The other one that I don't have, which you could use, and I have used before, and that is a thing called stoneware. So those are smarter choices. Now with stainless steel, sometimes they can contain a lot of nickel. So just be aware of that. The idea is then to find a good brand. They're not here to sell any other brands. So those are some smarter choices that you could make when using some um, cookware for preparing your foods. Microwaves. Now this is an interesting one. If you look back at the research when the Russians and the Germans were using microwaves, they actually initially used it to warm up their troops in a small area. 
But then when the troops started going down with cancer, they thought, hmm, this isn't such a smart idea. In fact, in the Eastern Bloc, they don't actually sell microwaves. And the reason for that is because they know the research. Once you start nuking something or bombarding electrons into it and changing the structure, that's not a genius formula. So what happens in a microwave is when you bombard the electrons into the food, obviously the food contains molecules, and those molecules are slightly changed, and the so-called benefits to it would be to warm up your food because they're literally um, speeded up so quickly. Well, when you put some food into a microwave, or even if you put some liquid into it, it totally changes the structure of the food. In other words, to be absorbed, digested, assimilated and eliminated, it will cost more than it delivers to you. It won't even smell the same or taste the same. I mean, do the experiment. You um, could boil, slightly boil some broccoli, and then go and uh, microwave it and tell me what it, if the taste difference. In fact, interestingly enough, I read some research that showed broccoli, one minute on high, will come out 4% alive. What do I mean? Well, the enzymes, bacteria, trace elements, um, all of them, all the vitamins, minerals, they're destroyed in the so-called nuking effect caused by the microwave. And then if there's any protein, and there's not going to be much protein in something like um, broccoli, will turn into a beta pr protein and your body won't recognise it. So, it really, it's like stupid. And if you, another great experiment, I did this with my parents when I came back from Canada, and what I did is we microwaved some water and then we had some normal um, filtered water and we had two small plants and what we did is we had, we had to label them obviously we then fed one plant microwave water and another plant we actually just fed it um, the normal filtered water well within a couple of months one of the plants grew and one of them didn't now you may find that the reason for that is because the soil was good but in this situation the microwave water was obviously not a huge benefit to the plants at least that was the experiment um, hypothesis I came up with because I just thought, well, why else would it not be growing to the similar height as the other? I mean, they were both put in the same location. I know there are other factors to plant growth as well, but those are, that's just one simple experiment. Um, so, what are the benefits, say, of using a microwave? Well, one of the good things you could use with the microwave, and I've done this before, is a wet dishcloth. Now you'll heat it for three minutes on high, but please, this comes with a warning, watch the microwave, watch the cloth. Because when I do this in Canada, I set fire to the cloth. So the cloth will obviously, all the electrons will um, nuke all the, the bacteria and everything and kill everything on your cloth. And then you can wipe down your surfaces and kill all the germs. Fantastic. And then put it back in the microwave for another three minutes and you've got yourself a clean cloth. Another good thing, if you're entertaining and you would like to warm up some... Uh, dish plates, stick them in the microwave. There's no other use for that microwave other than those two things that I can think about. Because seriously folks, once you put anything in that microwave and press the button, you will destroy all the nutrients, bacteria and the whole life of whatever you're putting in the microwave. So you've obviously got smarter choices to make. I call them the, the two kitchen killers. <laughs> because they literally, I mean, it's just crazy with the kind of world that we've created where, well, if we sell it, it must be okay. And the marketeer's telling us it's okay. And, and Mr. and Mrs. Jones next door, they've got one, so it must be all right. Please, do your own homework. You know, I know to some extent a lot of people say that we're actually docile, as in willing to obey, and very gregarious. We're like sheep, we just copy what everyone else does. And I'm not saying to be any different, but if it doesn't serve you or those around you, you do have a smarter choice to make. So those are just some examples about Teflon and microwaves. You can make smarter choices and change them when you are ready to do that exactly on time. Thank you for listening and for watching. My love to you all. Have a great day. Bye for now.